Hello guys, welcome to this video. We got some Blonaria Swamp and uh, yeah. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I'm getting close to 10k subscribers and it would be cool to hit. And uh, also leave a couple likes if you guys want. Just I don't really have a like goal, just, just a couple, I'll be happy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite strats to go late game with. And uh, we're against Hero Without Fear. So what we're going to be going is we're going to be going Big Bloom Buster, Glue Storm and Super Eco Boost. And then we're going to be going Bomb Tower, uh, Monkey Village, and the Monkey Chipper, I think. Or just Chipper, I don't know. And get a good fourth if you can. Possibly get a Stall Tower. A Stall Tower is going to be really, really good. Um, but that's fine as well. It would have been better if we had gone with the boat, actually. But I was kind of hoping to get an either Ice Glue or Ninja. But it's still fine. So he's going to be anti-stalling here, which is really good for me since I'm going Eco. Again, this is an Eco strategy, so it's going to be... It's gonna be fine unless he like I don't know has a Cobra quick shot team tower stun sent me in at round 19 CMG. I think I should be uh, completely fine, uh, but we will see how it is going to go. So let me uh, let me keep sending here. So okay, so we want to use our super eco boost, which by the way is not as OP anymore as it used to be. Uh, it used to be way more way more broken, um, but we're gonna be using this on round five. And then again on round 7, and then on round 10, finally. Um, so yeah. Uh, right now, we're in round 3, and I'm going to be upgrading to Cluster Bomb in a little bit. But this is going to solo pinks as well. By the way, if he sends me constant pinks, I might leak a few lives, but I'm not going to leak enough for it to really hurt me. The problem is right now, he's anti-stalling past round 1, which I am not a fan of. Uh, which means the rounds end earlier, and I uh, get less eco. I don't know, it seems like he's ecoing because he's not farming for some reason. But since he's ecoing, I don't understand why he would anti-stall. That doesn't really make sense to me. But nonetheless, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. We are on round 5, going to be using my first super eco boost. He's going to use improved eco boost. There's actually not much of a difference now. Improved eco boost gives 7 times the round number. So 7 times 5 is uh, obviously 35. And I got 8 times 5 which is 40. So I got five more eco than him. Uh, and here we go on round six. And there are two ways to approach round six. If he sends me blacks, uh, I can obviously not defend with the with the bomb. So uh, I will choose to keep ecoing here, keep greeting. And once the blacks get up here is when I'm going to be blue storming because then they will pop and I will not take a lot of leaks. To be fair though, now I am going to need up a balloon chipper, so I'm going to be putting this down here on strong. And we're in round 7, I almost forgot. Uh, so we need to use our second super eco boost. I uh, got a little distracted, but it's okay. So almost at 600 eco, and yeah, this is uh, this is uh, pretty, like, pretty much a winning position so far, because uh, my late game towers are better than his. And since he's ecoing, he's clearly planning to go late. But the problem is, his late game towers do not beat my late game towers. So I will just take it as it is right now. Uh, Hero without fear. I do like your name though, that's pretty pretty inspiring. Um, so round 9, this round is going to be pretty quick. Right now, uh, all I want to do is I just want to eco as much as possible. However, we do not want to eco on round 10. Uh, so once round 10 comes, we want to stop. So, boom, going to be using the super eco boost quick. Well, we have now have 830. 6 eco. This is a pretty good eco to have. We're easily going to be able to defend uh, Let's. And now we're going to get this up. So he's probably, he stopped ecoing as well because he needs to get defense. So we're going to go for a monkey fort and then we're going to be going for this, which we will get at uh, 3 minutes and uh, 24 seconds. So I can actually afford to eco a little bit more here. I don't know if I just over ecoed. I did by 16 eco. That is, that's bad, but honestly it's fine because uh, we all just have to wait like a second. There we go. And now we're going to be good. Uh, so, yes. Now, what I like to do, if he didn't go eco, uh, I would wait here. And um, I would actually get up a 2-0 balloon chipper. But since he went eco, he doesn't have the money to rush me. So, that is pretty good. So, I'm just going to keep on uh, ecoing right now. I'm go going for a 1,000 eco. And then we should easily be able to defend whatever he sends at me. It really doesn't matter. So, we have a 1,000 eco so far in round 14. 1,500, which is really good. Right now is on the early rounds is when you want to get as much eco as you possibly can. But I do want to stop now because round 15, we do want to get the heavy duty suction. 
because right now he can send me ceramics and he can send me a ton of leads um not to mention region leads which are not gonna be fun um so yeah we also in case he decides to rush us we need to upgrade our bomb tower uh to get the uh the, the power that's pretty much stun or the ability that stuns everything well it's not really an ability but it's just the bomb stuns everything so yeah uh, around 16, we should be fine. We might take a few leaks here. I hope we don't really leak too much, but uh, we're gonna leak a few lives. It, it, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. We're 1.4k eco right now, which is pretty good. So I actually think I am going to be upgrading this uh, to the 3.2k update. But God, whatever it's called, I'll find out in a little bit, and I'll be like, oh yeah, that's right. I, I'm actually gonna go for 1.5k. This might be foolish, but uh, it'll be fine. So, I'm gonna get this up in case he decides he wants to rush me with a Moab. It does not look like he wants to rush me with a Moab right now. So, I'm gonna go for my oh, Balloon Impact. That's right, that's what it's called. So, we're gonna go for the Balloon Impact. And, um, yeah, now we're pretty much gonna be just fine. So, round 19. Uh, we're completely chilling. The only thing we gotta worry a little bit about is a potential BFB. If he wants to send me a BFB, that would be pretty bad for me. Um... But I do believe I would be fine. So I'm going to go for 1.8k here. And then I'm going to wait a little bit. So yes, 1.8k. And now we need 3 bombs down. And 3 is enough to defend a, uh, a BFB. Uh, all we want is to get more maulers up. Uh, and yeah. There we go. I don't know if... Um, and, and, and I don't know. If somebody's in chat is... Uh, is smarter than me. Does it is it is it worth getting up frag bombs on these? Cause cause I really don't know. He's gonna quick shot me now. Okay. Um, the ceramics are not really gonna do anything. I don't know why he went quick shot. That's an interesting uh, interesting approach. But okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go for another cluster up here, and I'm gonna be putting this on this. And as you can see, there's a lot of ceramics here, but we should be just fine because we now have two um, balloon impacts. And yes, this tore apart the BFB. Oh, I did take a few leaks there. That's actually... Ah, uh, never mind. Who cares? We're fine. And we also have a ton of eco. So we know he has quick shot. If he had, I don't know, um... Say anything. Like, if, if, he, if he had just, uh... I, I, I don't know. Uh, Team Tower's done. We, we might have been screwed, but... Uh, luckily, he didn't. Also, he probably would have used it earlier if he did have it. So, that is what the Blue Storm is here for. I still want to save the Blue Storm, just in case of like anything uh it's just good to have you know but so far we're good he might want to send me a cmg i am absolutely not sure about that but i am going to be getting up a few more bomb uh bombs up here in mob ballers and uh yeah right now we do appear to be just fine so let me see hero without fear that is such a nice name as well i, I, I don't know i like it but the thing is, he's not going to win late game. I, My strategy is simply just a better late game strategy. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much like you, you can pretty much win over anyone with this strategy. Of course, it takes a little bit of trial and error. And, you know, if you make a mistake, you will obviously die. Uh, I have made a few mistakes with this strategy before. Um, but it's, it's, it's nothing, you know, that really makes a big difference. Uh, so I'm actually going to be upgrading to my village right now. I should have done that a little bit ago. I'm actually going to sell that just to speed up the process a little bit. And now we're just going to keep ecoing with the whites. The reason I'm not ecoing with the whites is because the whites are perfectly fine to eco with. We don't need to send pink shit. Actually, maybe we do because we're kind of max ecoing at this point. So yeah, I'm going to switch over to pinks now. Round 24 will be perfectly fine. And uh, he actually loosed on that. Okay. So he's getting up a spectre right now. The thing is, he, my opponent is not really ecoing, um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm actually not going to be rushing my opponent. You can't, I'm sorry, you can rush your opponent if you want to. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to showcase uh, how strong this strategy actually is because it is really, really strong. Okay, uh, <laughs> like I say, it, it can survive round 35 all out, no sweat. Like it, it will not even sweat. Okay, that that is how absolutely absurdly strong this strategy is uh so yeah anyway we have a lot of eco right now which is uh super good i'm gonna get up another mob mauler here and um i do want to upgrade this to a max but it's not like we need it yet 
I do want to sell my two balloon shippers here and I do want to get up and max one of these right here and start replacing this because right here what we need is we need four balloon chippers and I'm gonna be putting all of these on strong and I'm gonna get triple barrel on all of them we also do need super back but that's not for now okay that's for later uh, so yes this is basically OP and as well with the village ability which uh, decreases your uh, your ability cooldown by 50% these four chippers are gonna be enough to infinitely stall uh, so that is pretty pretty OP anyway um, and of course we're gonna be uh... oh okay okay there we go um, that's very very interesting but we uh, should be completely fine here and yep that is not even gonna sweat as you can see your chippers are completely melting uh, all the ceramics we're getting in right now and as well uh, with our um, what are called our bomb towers are also completely melting them so we actually do want to get a few more balloon impacts up uh, just to uh, the reason for the balloon impacts is just to uh, completely melt the AI uh, and we of course want it within range of our village so I'm gonna be upgrading to an energy beacon right now and yeah right now we honestly should be good so I'm gonna keep on ecoing till probably roughly 8k or so uh, I have stopped ecoing a bit um, which is a blunder of course but you do want to keep on ecoing so we're just gonna keep going here we're at 5k now and uh, honestly we don't really need much more but I do want to get to 7k roughly uh, I am expecting a huge rush from him uh, and I do hope it happens as well uh, just so that I can show you what to do in case of like a huge rush anyway um, let me see here I do want to get this up here nicely MIB and with the MIB up here we basically just want to get a ton of these down and maybe even another village down here so I actually think right here could be the perfect spot and yeah so we're doing pretty good right now and uh, of course if he starts rushing me we will just have to wait and uh, get up defense but for now we should be more than fine and the round 32 AI is uh, the ceramics are simply just gonna get melted straight up uh, by all our defense you can you can see how beautiful all the balloons look like you can just see how many balloons there actually is uh, so we're getting close to 6k eco honestly I might stop at 7k it doesn't honestly our eco doesn't really matter much but we will be perfectly fine either way uh, so I do want to go for another village right here all right so this is kind of like the circle almost it's a bad circle but the circle of villages where you kind of want your spot in you want a um a 4-2 village to touch a monkey village right here uh the uh what's it called mib um and that's because so the mib cooldown is going to be uh, on 50 percent of course and uh, then you of course you want the mib and the monkey village to touch as many bomb towers as possible mostly because the monkey village is going to take all the moab assassin abilities right here let me, let me get some of these up it's going to take all these abilities, let me just use them real quick, and put them off of cooldown. So, of course, these are very important, and then, of course, we will need the MIB. Uh, and when it comes to the balloon chippers, we only need the super bag, so they don't need to be in range of an MIB, so it doesn't really matter. And then this right here is our setup right now, and we just want as many bomb towers uh, near it as possible. So I'm going to go for one super bag right now. Uh, not that I need it, but you can see how quickly our bomb towers came back. Uh... Which is, of course, really perfect. So I'm going to be going for this, and this, and this. And now we pretty much just want to fill up as, as close as possible to, like, the edge. Kind of like you want to get them as close to the track as possible. You can always change it later. Uh, or not change it, but, like, uh, get, get them out uh, to the edge later. But right now we want them as close here as possible and that's uh, simply because whenever he starts rushing me at some point uh, we will need to be able to defend okay so he is starting to rush now this right here should honestly be easy to defend so i'm just gonna slowly go for my super vax now i will use my villages and as you can see i still have my boost left i have not needed to use my boost left and here goes a few abilities and we completely tore that apart 
without even needing to worry about Supervax. Uh, the Supervax kind of seemed almost useless in this situation. So we're fine. Uh, I have one more Supervax to upgrade. I actually want to get that real quick. And yeah. Now we should be good and we have our abilities back. Uh, and at this point, the reason for the Supervax are the Supervax can handle up to uh, BFPs. So against BFBs we will be fine, but against uh, CMGs we will all all we need to do against CMGs is to pop them. So that is basically what all the mobs uh, and mobs assassins are for is simply just for popping them. And then we can stall forever over here, and then of course our bomb towers that are near is going to pop all their regular balloons. And then right here, I have some uh, balloon impacts which is going to take care of. Uh, the ceramic, uh, ceramics and uh, regular class balloons. So as you can see, this is pretty much the strategy. It is super OP, it is super good to use, and it's also really easy to pull off. Like, it's not hard to use this strategy. It's not like you need anything special. It's like, it's like, it, okay, so the downside of this strategy is if you're a grinder, if you're a really good player and you're a grinder, um, it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> Because it's it's a late game strategy, okay? It's really a late game strategy. You are guaranteed to win if you go late, uh, unless of course if your opponent has like super monkey, uh, and and it, like, but but in that case you would just rush first and you would still win. So it's not like you need to worry much about it. Um, and as you can see, it's it's a super good strategy. And uh, right now we're just getting a mob assassins, and this just further ensures our victory. Uh, so yeah, we are completely chilling with our. Mob assassins, and we have 33 of them now. We do, honestly we don't even need too many, but still, it is still pretty, uh, pretty insane. So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much the strategy. And at this point, he's probably gonna rush me soon. I reckon. Uh, I, I don't really know when, but let's try and use one of these for fun. And as you can see, the the, the chippers are just gonna be infinitely stalling, um, and that's because it was, as soon as I have used four chipper abilities, the uh, other ones would have come back. Right now, just use all four of them to just to, just to show you how quick the chipper ability come back. So four chippers, as long as you pop the CMGs, it's gonna infinitely stall all the balloons. So uh, yes, that's pretty much it. Uh, I am gonna be finishing out the game now, but I could pretty much end the video right here. Uh, but I will wait and see if he's going to rush me. I'm definitely gonna be rushing him at some point, but I did want to rush uh, just to showcase. How OP this strat is. I think he knows how OP it is. So I yeah. Oh, never mind. He's actually starting to rush. Let's go. So I'm gonna be using a chipper ability just once, just to pull all of this together. And he only sent one CMG. I'm actually a little bit disappointed. Not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this again. And I haven't used my Moab Assassin abilities yet. By the way, keep keep that in mind. And this is about to be popped. Keep in mind it's round 40. And my opponent has disconnected. I think, honestly, I think he's mad. Uh, I think he's just straight up mad that I'm going to win. And he didn't really want to wait it out. Because he will he will die on his own, basically. So it's, it's kind of a... I don't know. Oh, never mind. I thought he rage quit. Well, what do you know? Uh, so I do want to see. Did I miss any of these? Nope, I think we're good. It's lacking a little bit right now. Honestly, he could be on phone as well. That is also a possibility. But, yeah. Uh, so, we just want to pop this and pull this together. And as you can just see by the C or by the BFBs right now, we uh, we just keep on stalling this forever pretty much. And, uh, and yeah. This is just, this just pops everything. And, uh, and we're pretty good uh, right now. So, I'm going to send him some slow uh, cooldown CMGs. And that is pr pretty much everything. And of course, all our uh, bomb towers are helping uh, to destroy all the regular ceramics AIs and stuff. So we can easily pull that together, use a village ability, use two village abilities for fun. And this completely just obliterates uh, everything that's on the screen. So I just sent him some space CMGs just because he has ground zero. So it's not really worth sending uh, regular CMGs. But as you can see, he's just going to slowly die here and there's not much to it. Um... So yeah, I have 51 abilities. You can probably fit 100 on this map, honestly. I, I do believe you can, but it's, it's just overkill. Like, you, you don't need that much. But as you can see, it is round 43. We have yet to use our ability here. If he all-outs me, I am going to use it. But as you can see, he's, he's just going to die to this. 
there's not much to it. Let's just uh, pop this for the fun of it. Just got to use a few of these ability and boom, that is popped. Uh, so as you can see right now, this is uh, this is absolutely brutal. We're on round 44 and I'm not even like I'm not even sweating yet. And as you can see, he's about to die. Uh, the CMG is uh, actually all he needs to do is pop the CMGs and he would probably be fine. But he is going to die here. I didn't want to bring this too late because we could keep going till round 50. But I would still be fine, honestly. Let's just use uh, the big bloom buster for the fun of it. I didn't even get to use it. <laughs> but as you can see, if he all outed me on round 50, I would still be fine. Uh, that is how OP the strategy is. And of course, since I keep getting more money, I would just keep on getting up defense. I would get fill the entire map up with defense and we would simply just be unstoppable but that is the video i hope you guys did enjoy and uh yeah if you did remember to like that smash button um see if we can hit a few likes and uh, please subscribe as well and i will see you in the next one peace out yeah life can be super happy life can be super sad i'm trying super hard to separate the good and bad i'll go back to my future just to get to my past but knowing me my delorean will probably crash sometimes i get in a taxi when i ain't got no cash worry if my credit card don't work then i might have to